Hello everyone, welcome back to some more of our Imperator Rome series. We just started, or ended, a couple of smaller wars, which got us a nice chunk of land over here. I would like to do some more, but the thing is we're hovering around 30 aggressive expansion, which is uh, kind of high. A little, just a little bit, at least I feel like it is. So we're going to be a little, oh, hey, hello, um, kind of calm in our wars. Also, that's not good. You're on independent operations, and yet you are just sitting there taking attrition. Why would you do this to me? You must split this army up. That is too- oh god. Now, of course, they're shadowing each other. Perfect. Anyway. Sign you on independent operations. I'm sure you'll figure it out. This should be the episode where we finally absorb this nation over here, which is going to be pretty cool, because then we can finally form Dacia. We need a new bodyguard. There we go. And what else do we do? We got a decent chunk of money. We can do some more colonizing, because we should try and grab these three. We're no longer importing olives from... Oh, to get you? Is that right? Wait a minute, don't we already have a surplus of olives, though? Yeah, we do. Okay. Um, well... Get some more population growth then, that's fine. From ourself. You may have my fish. Alright, so colonizing this, what are we looking at here? We got six people, we got six, we got five. Okay, so let's move a couple slaves to what is this country or er, city? Mauricia? Move you to Mauricia. Move you to Mauricia. We need one more. I'm sure we have another slave somewhere. There they are. Move you to... You cannot reach. Okay. What if... Hmm. Can we get them through Metanstia? And then can I move you... There we go. So we need to go to Mauricia. And then colonize. If I had the civic points, we could. So we need to wait for that. And then we should be seeing the annexation here at the end of this year. Beautiful. What else do we do? We can keep building roads, we can do some more... We do need to do some more conversions. But I would also like to get up to 3 stability and at some point in this war. How long until we can get peace? Months of war? Okay, so we'll eventually... We'll be fine. We will be fine. There we go, one more down. Got the, almost this entire province. Uh, this one, I think we will take. Because we are at 90. So we do need to get some more centralization back. So we're going the negatives there for civic. Which is fine. We can actually just buy some more civic points. So we'll do that. We'll probably spend a lot of money on civic points. Although our economy is not as high as it used to be. But I think it will... Shoot back up there when these provinces come to uh, come to heal. Third war host. Oh, just a random 19k. You are probably a retinue. We'll disband you for right now. What else? Oh, perfect. Yeah. Export the heck out of that. So, history is still lowering. Uh, history is over here, I believe. 
So these pops are very unhappy, but we are going to be converting them, so eventually that will be okay. This guy's got to die at some point. Hopefully. Let's see, we got seven, six, six. So next, we'll probably want to try and colonize from Metansia, which we can do if we just move some more people. All right, then we gotta get the points, and then we can colonize again. What uh, what plan are we running up here? Cultural? Uh, do we need to do that? Probably. Getian, Getian. Actually, maybe not. Well, we got four Dacian pops, Getian pops, ten Dacian pops. Okay, we can run it for a few more months, yeah. Although Dacian pops are gonna be okay, the only problem is, you know, they need to be Getian to actually, I guess, do the whole colonizing thing. Okay, you have not been annexed yet. What is it up to now? Why? What is... <laughs> I swear, it's like it's just never gonna happen. Also, we do really need to get, we need to get this too. Dominant religion is not Zelmoxian. Oh, here we go. They can move from here. But yeah, we need to get that because it's just ugly. Oh, look how big our name is. Look how big it is. It's so big. Uh, what else can we do? What else can we do? We could build the roads. We could keep that. So let's move you down here to keep building roads that way. We have the road split off of this and up there. I think this road is still fine for the most part. So I think that's the only road that we really need to worry about. Um, yeah, that's it. Barbarian should be dealt with by you. I guess we could also build a road like up here-ish. I don't know. I don't know if I want to put that many military points into it. They're currently starving because you're under siege, so that will be okay. 20k worth of barbarians. We may need to divert some more forces over there. Let's split you in half. And we'll send this war host up to this region. Because that's gonna be a lot of a lot of baddies. Wait, that was only five? I split you in half as well. Send you up zero too. There we go. And you still have five for local governor's troops, so you're still okay there. Okay. Very good. So you're going to get some reinforcements. You are going to colonize. Then we can colonize here. When we get some more civic points. Or not, because religion. What do we got here? Husband of the war chief gains loyalty. Don't care about the husband. Friend of the researcher. <laughs> Don't necessarily care. Give me religious power, because apparently we need to do some conversions. So where are you colonizing from? Florencia? There you go. And for this, the culture is not Getian in Triticum. What about now? Oh, now we need civic points. As we're going to need. Mm. You're. Hmm. I don't want you dying, man. You, you can leave for a while. Please don't die. Also, what the heck are you doing? There you go. Now they're going down. Alright, so we're approaching the end of the year. What even? 636? How have they have 
how could they have grown that much? It went up two years? This is it's never gonna happen. It's just never going to happen. We're never, ever gonna be able to get them. This is ridiculous. This is straight up ridiculous. I mean, I, I think they did expand again, so I guess maybe that's why they got a whole new set of populations. Yeah, because I think they just settled this in there. But I mean, come on! Well, it's fine. You know what? If they settle it, that's just civic points that are safe for us, I guess. There you go. Go take care of that. Um. Oh yeah, right, the road. Let's build out that way. Tribal oh. chief becomes friends with the chief. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. <sighs> hey, a miraculous recovery. Let's see, so how's the religion looking? Right, we still got these pops down here who need to be changed. Hmm. Hmm. Um, you can switch to something else. Your religion and culture is fine, right? I believe so. Yeah. So you can change to civilization, maybe? Greed is okay, I guess. Culture change is fine. Uh, what about through here? Clan chief of the Gudalani family. Alright, so now we gotta find the war host. 76,000 troops. Jesus. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Um, yeah, so the culture throughout, like, here. What are we looking at here? Yeah, alright. No, there's still, there's still a lot of pops to, to change. Alright. I figure, in a time of peace, we might as well focus on, you know, getting all these other cities colonized if we can. We'll focus on this later. I'm more concerned about getting this. Leather you can have. Gains dysentery. Okay. Uh, this person's been having a slightly rough time. Where's the, uh, where's the Grand War Chief Army? Is that just gone? I think that's gone, isn't it? So is the War Chief Army. Okay, so I guess we disband you. You are going to be assigned to the region. Wrong button. There we go. Okay, just checking to see who's not being led by anybody. And you... What are you doing? You're an automated army. But you have no commander. You don't belong over here. Oh boy. I don't know where you came from. I have no idea. Maybe from down here? Did I accidentally just turn you? Let's move you back down there. I don't know where they came from. No clue.
Dominant culture is not getting in. We can't do it from there. So we can go from Partiscon if we change your culture. I'm okay with that. We're not going to do any wars right now, so it's fine. Blue tribesman, thank you very much. Let's see, for fortress. Oh yeah, fortresses. Uh, so we're gonna be fine down here now, right? This is total, totally loyal. Okay, fantastic. So now what we're gonna do is remove this fortress, and we're gonna build a fortress. Was it here or here? I think it was here. Right. Although, do we even need one there anymore? Because, I mean, we own this. So, I mean, really, we could just build... a fortress right here instead. So, let's do that. We're going to need some more money. We got a fortress there. We got a fortress there. So, this is all covered. There is a small gap right there that they can go through, but then they have to go through here anyway. This is covered. That's covered. That's a lot of stuff, but that's all of our, our tri uh, tributaries. Okay, that seems fine. Another accidental imp uh, impalement. You were the elder. How did the elder get accidentally impaled? What are you even doing around it? Like what? All right, so this is covered. That's covered. This is not. But then this is. Hmm. Plus, I like having the fortress on the capital of the province. I think it's just it's a good idea. I'm gonna reinforce the fortress provinces here to at least a level two. We do have a gap here that we need to fill. A rather large gap too. It's like if we build one right here, that covers this and this, but then they can still go through this gap right there. So that means I think we need to move this fortress up to there. I need money. So we'll move this over here, which will then extend the line to this. We still build, yeah, okay, and then we'll be fine. We need some tribal chiefs back. Uh, we got some civic points, so as we save up some money, can we do some more colonization? Dominant culture, not Getian. Well, I don't have much oratory power anymore. a lot of unrest to ask for. For 10 years, our omens would be slightly weaker, but we're getting three unrest, which is more powerful than the omen we're running. So, and we gain a stability. Yeah. The peasants are right. It's time to open the gates of the temple. There we go. So now we're more stable. We have three additional unrest. Which has put you in the positive. Histria is still unhappy. Still unhappy. Uh, Deorsi is unhappy. Wait, is that even ours? Part of it is. Let's change that to local autonomy. There we go. Now you're fine. Uh, Tribalia, are you still not our religion? No, you are our religion. Wait, what? Well, that doesn't make any sense at all, then. What about, uh, culture? Ah, okay, so we, we need to change your culture. Not your religion right now. Okay. Or Moxley. Ooh, they have a ton of prestige. You know what, buddy? 
I'll find a job for you. Dragon host of edge is all loyal. Um, don't we have like an army moving down? Here we go. So let's say create new army here. There we go. Was killed in a freak accident at the age of 80. Yes, the loyal guy, disloyal guy is dead. All right, so that would be a pretty big number, right? Uh, move the rest down here. Now you are disloyal. Should it be like a pretty large number that's not being commanded? Oh, there it is, right in my face. There we go. So now you're gone. Here we need to create a new army, and we need to put a Dromachite, or whatever. Okay. There we go. So we got a new group of uh, retinues over there. You are going to build a road along the river, I guess? We still don't have you. Says at the end of this year, we'll see. We've been teased before. And this is the dominant culture, right? We are changing culture, but it's a slow process. The Kamozi family. Kamozi also has a ton of prestige. So let me. Give you something. There we go. Rest down there. We'll move all of our pointless jobs over here. We'll move you over here as well. Move you on this side, because this is where all the wars are going to be in the future, I think. Alright. Manpower. 629,000. Oh my god. We're never going to reach that. Like, ever. My god. That's, that's a lot. Uh, let's see how the rest of the world is doing. Thrace is pretty small. Still being guaranteed, though. Wish they weren't. Phrygia, rather large. The Seleucids have really regained their power. What kind of adventures have we got? Hmm. I mean, I guess. Let's see the recruit mercenary costs. Because we're going to be relying more and more on mercenaries. So you're being assigned. Independent operations. What was the other one? Oh my god, you weren't assigned either? Whoops. Okay, and now, hey, there we go. History is starting to become loyal. Awesome. Awesome. Beautiful sight. Where are all of the red news? Except for you. I just want to make sure that they're all in a localized location. Basically, I just want to make sure that they're on this side of the world. And then we'll split them up later. Alright, you are gonna keep building your roads. Alright, so we got all of our retinues on this side. Anyone else moving from over here? I don't think so. 
We got so many hearts. Oh, hey, we got them. There we I didn't get like a message or anything. Well, there we go. Look at that. Get to ya. And now we should be able wait. I can't. Can I not form? Shouldn't there be a, like a decision tab here? That's weird. You would think there should be like a pop up like, yo, you can do something. But there we go. We finally got them. Okay. Which I'm assuming we got some of their armies? Or did all their armies... Did all, are all of them gone? I hope they're all gone. Because all of these have been assigned to the... Yeah, okay. So those are all gone. Let's form Dacia. So, we will now become a federated tribe government. Which is different because we are a subtle tribe. We gain another idea. And then we get all these free pops. We will gain claims on the regions of Dacia and Moesia, which we already own, I think. Yeah, Moesia and Dacia. We already own all that, except for here, where our tributaries are, I guess. Has wisely enacted form Dacia. Dacia, land rich in resources, culture, and civilization, eyed jealously by greedy neighbors, belongs in the hands of its own people. It is high time that a strong leader emerged to challenge the status quo between fragmented tribes, uniting all Dacia under one banner. Dacia. It's a cooler color, too. So... Now we get... Oh, man. I'm going to need to spend oratory points on these. Oh, right. We've been unlocking ideas this whole time. Oh, Jesus. I have not even... Listen. It's fine. I haven't looked at the screen for a while, though. Uh, let's start with the civic idea, maybe? Build cost, build time. Building slots plus one across the entire world? Holy Jesus. Provincial loyalty is pretty cool. National commerce. Capital import routes plus three. Provincial import routes plus one. National slave output. National citizen output. National population growth. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's our population look like right now? 2,000 freemen, 1,400 slaves, 1,200 s tribesmen, 1,100 citizens. Hmm. I also like population growth, but like just building slots too? Like, Jesus. This is tough. This is tough. We got all the decisions. I think citizen output. This is what we're gonna go for there. Um Alright, so national tribesman output plus 20%, Freeman promotion cost minus 15% is what we get for that. Government, so none of these have changed. We still got the six tribal chiefs. So I got the centralization. So none of that's changed because we are still a tribal government. So I think basically it's just um, now we have more slots and we have different bonuses here. Look at all of that. I wonder if that changed anything though. Because now it's Dacia, not Getia. Are we still Getian? Is that still our primary culture? Because now we are Dacian? Did, am I going to change everything to... I don't think so. It's like their base happiness is 100. Your base happiness is 25, but it's increased because of civilization and all that stuff. Okay. So is that really it? That's the big change? We just get an additional point of here and then these are different? For being a federated tribe? Oh no, we are still definitely Getian. Okay. Even though we're called Dacia. God, we have 5,800 people. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where is this? Where is this province? Duria? Okay. Well, there we go, friends. Dacia. Dacia? Dacia?
Cool. Federated tribes, they should. I thought maybe like something would change in the government. But nothing that I'm seeing. Do we still, yep, we still incur penalties for changing laws. So that's still the same. It looks like the laws are also the same. But hey, at least we have another slot here. I wish the bonuses were maybe a little higher though. But we definitely want to change all of these. So we'll let time pass as we read the oratory ideas. So we got the corruption, wrong culture happiness plus 10%. We're already at 100 centralization, right? So do this one. Um, wrong culture group happiness plus 15% would probably help a lot, actually. Monthly general and admiral loyalty, research points plus 20%. Monthly governor loyalty, improve maximum aggressive expansion change. Diplomatic relations. Honestly, maybe this, because then we can go to war sooner, and then we can change it again. Military tradition! Trireme offense! Okay. Uh, we have too many slaves! Far too many slaves! Uh, we want to move the people who are our religion and, um, culture. Okay. They're no longer starving. So it looks like we're going to also need to run religion changes here, too. But, like, right now, we're just... The, the slaves, though... So what do we have? Well, actually, it's not too bad. Most of these slaves are now under our culture type. So maybe it's the religion that we need to focus on now. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. We need to change this to religion now. But I also still need to grab enough points for... You know, actually, hold on. We can um, go to economy. We can spend money on this. Because we need... We need to get these. These bonus points here. Which means we also now need a military idea. Morale of armies plus 10%. Morale of navies. Discipline plus 5%. It's pretty cool. Trireme cost. We'll pop that when we want to build a fleet. But all my wars that I'm planning on are going to be moving to the west anyway. So, like, I still don't really care about a fleet right now. National manpower. Ooh, omen. I don't think we need the national unrest right now. So... Hmm. I typically just do research. So let's do research. Um, yeah, let's go back to that screen. As we save up some oratory points here. Charring cost, manpower. Maintenance cost minus 20%. It's actually pretty cool. Siege ability plus 10% is neat. Experience decay. Uh, they are starving because we have barbarians there, which we will take care of. That's fine. That's not good. Um, I'll probably just make the armies cheaper. I think, for right now. Because we don't need any real crazy military buffs for the near future wars. I may change that when we go to war against, like, Mastodon again. Sure, let them lose opinion on me. I know they're my tributary, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, I think we go with this. Minus 20%. And in a war that uh, we feel like we're going to be hard-pressed, we'll definitely change this. But yeah, that's going to save us a lot of money. And the money we can use to buy more points, we can buy buildings. We can do a lot of things. We could build a fleet. There we go. So we finally got our bonus points. Beat the barbarians. 
Capture the barbarians. Sure. We will accept that offer. Why not? 83,000 troops. Madam, that is ridiculous. Straight up ridiculous. Alright, so next we're gonna need to try and take these. So what are we looking at here? So you are friends with them. And... Who is this again? I feel like Tabernade just ate up a lot of these. Because didn't the Alpine's Ritane own like all of this? I'm pretty sure they did. You are a major pa- What the- 328 cohorts? Well, hello. How many did we rock it now? Oh, you know, casual 596. But still, 328. And the problem is, fighting other tribes, is that they are also going to have, like, infinite manpower almost because they have the tribal chiefs. Clan chiefs. Just like we do. That's why I feel like we have a slight edge against, like, Macedon or Phrygia. You know, these non-tribal nations. Because eventually, in theory, they will lose money um, to the point where they can't hire the mercenaries. They will lose manpower so that they can't really run their own troops. But when it comes to other tribes, it's just like a fucking brawl. We'll, we'll fight them for sure. But uh, anyway, yeah. So first with you, you're not in a defensive league. We will need to save up a bunch of oratory points, though. So that we can actually, you know, form a reason to go to war. A CB, if you will. Or a claim. God, look at this. Just look at us. Look at us. We are amazing. I wonder if I should change this. Back to the no effect. We can also lower fort maintenance. For right now. For sure. And what else? We can do some more colonizing. If we have the right culture group, which we don't. And I can't use our oratory power for that. We could buy some oratory power. But honestly, I think when I'm buying that, it's just going to be going to forming a Wargle. Because now we're sitting at 13 aggressive expansion, which by the time we're actually done with this war, we'll probably be closer to like 6. Hmm. I mean, I... Hmm. I don't want to go in the negatives, though. You just hit me at the wrong time. Because you do get pretty bad events for going negative. War averted? Cool! I'm happy. How much leather are we exporting from here? Can I see that number? We have- oh, okay, we have seven produced here. So we are exporting six right now, or five, because we have an excess right now. So basically, just from this one city, we're getting at least five gold worth of trade goods. That's actually that's pretty good. 723k! Let's take a look at the world here. So how we fare is Egypt. Egypt's manpower is ridiculously low, but whoo, they got a lot of money. We have more population! than Egypt does. We have more population than the Seleucids have. And Phrygia. What about you? And New Rome. And Carthage. Friends, we are dominating. This should be called Imperador Dacia. Um, man. Look at all those cohorts. Oh, that's not good. Okay. You really like border forts, huh? Okay. 
Oh, like, oh right there, right there. It's just like, a, it's a habit. It's like a muscle reaction. A new governor is assigned. I changed whatever they changed to. It just, it's just like muscle memory. I wasn't thinking about having to uh, do the wargle. Gosh darn it. I really probably should be building some more stuff. Yeah, like look at all these that we can build stuff in. All right, what can we get here? We get another commerce building. We'll get another one of those. We don't really even need those though. Siege engineers are very good. Army weight modifier minus 10% could actually be pretty huge. These are both good. We want both. We'll take the army weight for right now and then we'll get the siege later. For sure. I mean, I could do a no CB war. But that's two stability. I don't want to. Oh my goodness! I need you all to stop dying for a bit. Uh, question: Why are we losing three thousand troops? Oh, because you died. Right. Okay. That would be why. All right. So where's the new retinue here? Who's the new guy? Or lady? Natsupora? There is no Natsupora list here. So are you already in charge of one of these other armies? You wouldn't be in the lead of a provincial army, right? Oh, I just didn't give enough time. There we go. I didn't see her name on the list, so I, I thought that maybe I already had her in charge of one of the armies. I got paranoid because I didn't want her having any of our troops. I mean, not that we really have to worry too much. We have a ton of manpower right now. A ton. Well, all right then. Okay, can't. Must resist. I want to colonize, but I cannot afford any more oratory points. I don't want to take a stability hit. Uh, Mastodon. What's happening over here? Illyria Gracia. Okay. Oh, and the remnants of that. Okay. Well, they are probably going to die. You're still protected by the Seleucids. We may start butting heads against uh, the Brutia over here. But I really want to finish off Macedon. If we take this time to try and re-up with Carthage. I never did form that alliance. Gave in to lung disease. Governor of Thrace. Oh, man. No. A new governor. Yeah, but only a four. Wow, we have no good, like, real finesse characters here. But we got commerce income. Commerce income plus 15%. And local population growth. Your finesse is pretty low. But let's hope that it's okay. You are all still Hellenic Thracians. We have changed some, though. 
You're still going up. But yeah, so, um, Carthage. Aggressive expansion, minus 32. Alliance actions are at minus 60. We have a positive of 7. And then how much can we do for your proof opinion? Oh, only plus 31. Hmm. But, you know, when the aggressive expansion is down, I think we can do it. I just need to not fight. We need to just not fight to get that alliance with Carthage. And I don't even know if they would help us that much. I have no idea if they ever would, because they're so far away from where we are. Cappadocia gave us 400 gold. Cappadocia, right over there. Hmm. I just don't think we should really get in with Phrygia. I still think Carthage is just far enough away that they make sense for us. Because again, I think we're going to be button heads against these people. The new Romans. Well, seeing as you just gave me 400 gold, sure. I would feel pretty terrible if I did not give you that. Actually, nope. We would want to stack up fortresses here to get them past level ones. Not marketplaces. So how much money are we making? 72 gold. That's pretty good. Hey, we got 180. Okay, well, mm. but again, I do eventually want to become friends with you. <laughs> but I think that's only going to happen if you like me, because you're going to... Okay, we have 25 additional, so we're basically sitting, if we wait, we're sitting at a 35, and then we can raise their opinion of us by an additional 32, which would be enough. I just need to not fight a war. It's hard not to. But let's start improving their opinion. We'll establish an embassy again. Let's secure a friendship with them. And then we can go back to warmongering. How's our provincial loyalties here? Okay. Okay. We could change some... We could change some, um, religion focuses here. We're already changing those. Where would we even start? Oh, you know, we could finish these. That's it. Oh, over here. Okay. My god. We have been changing culture and religion over here. I don't even know how long. 150 years? 200 years? And it's still not even finished? Oh. Uh, oh man. God, you just get building slots from here too? Oh my goodness. And all these trade routes. Oh, a capital trade route. That's really good too. Uh... Let's get the capital trade route. Okay. So we're looking for papyrus. Cloth, earthenware, glass. I don't have any civic points to do this, so we'll come back to that. I know we are exporting glass from down here, so I may have to cancel that because I think we would want the surplus of glass bonus. What do we got here? We'll go for this one. Yeah. 
Give me that. And then with that money, we'll buy some civic points. And then with those civic points... Let's see, because glass would give us... Oh, religious tech investment? Mm, I don't know if we care too much about that. And we can't get papyrus. We could get earthenware. Which will then give us a surplus of 2.5% for our freemen across our entire population. That sounds pretty good to me. Hemp, we could definitely get a surplus for, but we won't we don't care about that one. Base metals, we definitely could if we tried. We don't care about that one though. Okay, yeah, earthenware. Freeman output plus 2.5%. So now that means we should be getting more people per month. Which is good, because we still have two over 200,000 troops to get. That's so, that's so insane. So insane! We're doing so well. I love it. We're not going to war. This is not a war episode. I think next episode will be a war episode. For sure. And we do technically teach these. Oh wait, this is a different... Oh, wait, no, no, that, that is part of them. Okay. Like, we could... We could go into... Uh, Europe here. Well, cent more Central Europe, I should say. I mean, we have some options. I do still want to finish off Macedon. But that involves the Seleucids. I just really hope that Carthage jumps in. Okay. Valeria. Oh. Those. It's honestly kind of surprising that Carthage hasn't, like, hasn't really gotten bigger. Okay, so that's fine. National safe happiness point two. Yep. Sounds good. troops nearby and they're fine the fourth war host so you must have died because this is where we have all of our scorned families we'll pop you out so I know that we have one free pop over there for a job if we need it hopefully you guys are moving so you don't suffer attrition I will accept we could take a look at our fortress line again. I do not want to lose oratory power. So we're doing this one. So if we take a look at the fortress line. Okay, so we need to build the fortress. I guess there will be fine. So we're gonna take off those training camps, build two levels of fortresses there. We're gonna build a fortress I still need to kill you. Um, but we're going to build a fortress. Probably on the river crossing as well. If they attack from this way. They would get the forest penalty. River crossing penalty. And this should block. This will block there and there. There will be an avenue through here. But then this fortress covers that. So that's still fine. So yeah let's do two levels of fortress there. Uh, two levels of fortress I think it's fine for right now. Just right now checking to make sure that they are level twos. I can't build here because you're disloyal. Um, I think this is still part of the disloyal province. Or maybe not. Yeah, okay, so let me put you up to level two. We do have a hole through here because these are our tributaries, I believe. Oh, no, no, this is us. Oh, well then we should build something here. So building a fortress here would cover there, would cover there. I mean, this would do the same. But this is mountains, which is a minus two penalty as opposed to this being hills. So a fortress here is really good. And that would cover this spot so they can't come in through and go up there. They have to go through this this uh, insane fortress. So take those down, level two fortress there. It's gonna be really good. We've got a fortre fortress covered here. Upgrade that. I can only have one building spot, unfortunately. 
Um, did we get the fortress here? Yeah, we did. Alright, so upgrade that to a level 2. Level 2. I need money. We need to upgrade everything to level 2. Because at this point in the game, honestly, they probably like need to be level 3. But we'll do what we can. Alright, so that's going to cover our gap there. This is all going to be covered, so now we're going to have to worry about our northern border. Because they can still walk across. <laughs> they can just walk around here, which is utter BS. But they can do that. So that means we're going to need to build something throughout here. We're going to need to build one, like, right over here. And then we are... Uh, that would cover Central Dacia. Lost the governor. What do you got? No... The Freeman output is good, I guess. So we'll put you there. But of course you change the rules, or the, the thing with off. So Zagradava is currently being bled dry. Can we afford that? What is your population? Dominic culture, Getian. I guess that's fine. Oh no, you were doing civilization though. That's what you were on. And we still have some uncivilized places. You know what? Bleed them dry for right now is okay. I don't want to spend the points to change that. It's it's fine. Klepia, though. Klepia still needs civilization, so we will spend some points for this one. We still have 200 points, so we could declare war if we want to. Scythia, or Scythia. Uh, I don't want you to have a trade route. I don't think. Yeah, because like we still need to change your religion. Your culture is fine, but we do need to change religion. We'll spend some points, changes to religious conversion. Here we have, uh, I guess that's fine. This, we need to change from border forts to something else. Um, probably religion again. Yep. Religious conversion. I'm willing to spend some of these oratory points because we're again waiting for the aggressive expansion to be down so we can try and get that alliance. Oh, the General of the Dragon Host of Edge finally died. They've been the leader of that for quite some time. So the Mercantile Stance is really helping us here, too. So we still got 13 aggressive expansion to bleed off. How much do we have for improving relations? I think it's up to around 80-ish or something, right? And then we may have to send them a gift, but I think we should be fine. I hope. We could spend some more civic points. Do we have the- oh, there we go. We can finally move. Let's do that. This would be colonizing up there, which is fine. But we need dominant religion. Religion has to change. We can spend some religious power over here. So where are you moving from? Navata? What's our current omen up? Ooh. Okay, we can't spend that much, actually. We need a way to redo the new omen. Pretenders in Mastodon cannot be supported with a new character interaction. Like, do I have to actually go into their characters? I haven't really looked at characters of another faction, have I? And these are just all the characters that are under our control, right? So how do I really dig deep into your characters? Like, I can see your family, but they said that they have pretenders. So how do I get... How do I get to, like, your government screen so I can see these people? It says that we can support them. But there are no support actions other than rebels, but that's not a new action. That's there all the time. So that's not the one. 
how do I view all of your characters? I need to see these pretenders. Because I would for sure be tempted to um, support them. But I don't know how I can see them. Because like, I need this screen. I need to see their pretenders. Because I think their pretenders would be listed down here where our clan chiefs are. But I can't see their government screen. At least not... At least I don't know how to yet. Uh, Kadota and Tiati are scorned. I mean... Okay. Kadota. We'll leave the Tiati there, that's fine. Grass expansion almost down to zero. Plus 68. Only a positive of 34. Be able to do it. Yeah, we're at our max opinion. We're still really far. Oh man, I guess maybe we can't. Because even the gift would only change relations by 25. There's still nine aggressive expansion to be bled off. But the thing is, they like us by 69. But for the opinion, that's only about half. Yeah, I guess we can, actually. Because that would only increase their opinion by 25, which would be like another 12 to that. So that would put us up to 46. And then the aggressive expansion bleeds off by 9, so that's about like another 5-ish. Yeah, we would still be under. Ah, oh, nuts. It'd be really close, but we can't do it. Shoot. That plan's gone. So maybe we try and form a temporary alliance with you? Because they're only minus 50. Can we do it with you? Aggressive expansion would go down by 11. We're in the mercantile stance. Trade access. Um, there... Well, hold on. There are laws, I think, that increase relations. Right? Like this. Diplomatic re reputation. What is a diplomatic reputation right now? Only a zero. Because you have the declaration of superiority. Like, I could, I could probably manipulate some laws here. Like, open hearth instead. So we would get plus five diplo rep from there. Plus two from there. Which I think it would only give us a plus seven overall. I, th I think. Is what that does. Oh, it would be really close. Oh, it would be really close. I mean, I could just try and fight Mastodon and this loses on my own. We may be able to do it. It would be a tough war, though. I don't know if we need the unrest anymore. Because, like, provincial loyalty is going up everywhere. Everyone is happy. So, yeah. I don't think we need that right now. Let's just do the research points again. Ah, oh, man. I really wanted Carthage. The opinion of our allies would be plus 25. The opinion of others within diplomatic range would be plus 10. It costs 102 to change. The mercantile stance, though, just gives us so much money. But also, it, uh, increase the opinion of others within a diplomatic range by plus 20. So, that's actually better.
I don't know. I really want a Carthage. Pretenders in Phrygia cannot be supported with new character interaction. Yeah, but how? Like, are you a pretender? Support for Magalus Ag Agothid? You are the primary heir. I can inspire to become less loyal. You'll be unable to revoke for at least two years. My monthly loyalty, or their monthly loyalty would shoot down by 0.25. I'll pay 51 oratory points. Until the end of the game, their loyalty would go down by 0.25. And you're the primary heir. But, is that important? Are you a pretender? Like, I don't know. Are you? Same family as ruler, so I assume that means you're not a pretender. Succession support, brother of the ruler. Brother of the ruler. I wonder if you insp What's your loyalty at right now? Ah, oh, 0. 0.60. This wouldn't even be enough. So that does not matter. So this is the ruler? Yeah. Oh, then these are all the pretenders then, isn't it? Ah, okay, so that's where they are at. They're listed under the... Okay. Okay, that's a cool hat. What's your loyalty at? Changing by 0 0.08. But you're already 59 years old. So you're, you're going to be dead soon. Can I... I can't click him. There we go. You're only 46. Your loyalty is changing by 0 0.05. You're also a general of the third Stratos. So if we inspire loyalty for you, disloyalty, that will eventually drop. I'm curious. Let's inspire some disloyalty. What's the harm in that? And I think we're going to get slave output right now. Uh, Siege Engineers is very important, but it's not going to do anything for us at this exact moment. Um, man, this Carthage thing. I really wanted this to go. Even if I finagle with the laws, I don't know if it's going to be enough. What about Egypt? Egypt is at minus 54. Uh, it's probably going to be pretty tough, too. Hmm. We may be sitting alone. Hmm. So instead of maybe attacking the clan, do we unite with the clans? I want one friend. I don't want it to be New Rome. But what about you? You are a competing power. But the okay, so the aggressive expansion has eleven to bleed off. So that translates into basically another five. So we're basically sitting at nine. And that's gonna be what, thirty-five? No, thirty-two-ish. Right? So that would be, um, like 41. And that's another 12. Which would put us over. So if I'm doing my math right, we could get an alliance with them. 
and form a pretty substantial tribal alliance to destroy the so-called civilized powers. Maybe we do that. I think I'm doing the math right. Because it's about half of their, it's, it's half their opinion of us, right? And so aggressive expansion bleeds off by 11. So again, that's going to, let's just say like five. So yeah, that brings us to nine. This is 67. So it'd be like 30, I guess like 33. So it'd be 42. And then sending the gift would be 25. So that is like 12. And that would put us up over 50. Let's do it. I was just going to fight them. But why fight them? If we can use them to fight the Seleucids. It's going to take some time to improve relations. But I think that's worthwhile. I think that's the better call here. Yeah, that's fine. So then that means... I don't think I care about Liburnia. Yes, yeah, so that means we need to move... Because it, be, it would be a war against Macedon, so we would want to get in position over here. The 86,000? You may be dead by the time the war actually starts, though. Um, you would go over here. We already have a ton of troops over here, though, in Thrace and Old Macedon, like Pella area. And they could probably hold, but it would be nice to have a retinue over there. Maybe two retinues over there. The 90,000, hopefully you live to see the day. Um, you will also come over here. 62,000 will come over here. And then 81,000 come down there. So we'll lose a lot of troops as our Red News march through our national troops there. But I think we can. It's, it'll be fine. I like this idea, friends. I was going to warmonger and just try and take them out. But why do that? Why do that? Our main goal was to take over Greece. We need to take over Macedon now. And Macedon has a powerful ally. And also we're going to need to fight Phrygia. Because we want this too. I just hope that our alliance will hold. Paeonia gave us 437? Holy crap. You're not my tributary, right? Yeah, I never actually took you out, did I? Well, sure. You gave me a lot of money. Um, speaking of, we got 2,600 gold. So we'll build some more marketplaces through here. Again, I'm doing this because it adds to our civilization. Oh, we also wanted to build, or I wanted to build some more fortresses, didn't I? So we have a level 1 fortress there. We're building a level fortress there. That's Thrace, isn't it? Good as we can get there. Level two fortress there. Um, that is not my province. Are we still putting this fortress? My goodness, it takes forever. All right, so that should all be good. That's gonna be good. We do need a fortress over here somewhere. So maybe we actually turn this into a um, fortress instead. Because then that would block here. And 
here. But then we would still have a way through down here. Oh, I know, no, because this one's going to be blocking this. So, yeah, that's a good spot there. That will connect this. And then we just have... Um... If we build one right there, there would still be a tiny path. Oh, no, no, it wouldn't. Because they would be blocked right there. So, let's take those two away and build a fortress. And then I think... Yeah, I think that will protect Central Dacia. I think we're good. Although right now our fort maintenance is at um, is cheaper because we're not at war and I turn that down. So we will need to change that before we go to war. For sure. But yeah, friends. Um, I think that's going to probably do it for this episode. That's fine. Um, and the next episode, we're just going to be trying to get our opinion of them increased. Which shouldn't be too much longer. And then hopefully they accept the alliance, and then we'll jump into a war against Macedon and the Seleucids. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a big one. It's gonna be a pretty big one. Thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you all next time. Take care, everyone. Bye!